In the previous two videos, we learned how to create route handlers for GET and POST requests. The next step is to understand how to handle PATCH and DELETE requests. PATCH or DELETE request though is slightly different in the sense that you need to specify the ID of the comment you're updating or deleting. While slash comments route will handle both GET and POST requests, for a PATCH or DELETE request, our endpoint will be slash comments slash ID, where ID is the dynamic segment. It can be one, two, three, or any valid ID from our comments array. So in this video, let's see how to create a dynamic API route, which will return a single comment based on the ID. We will then use our learnings from this video to handle patch and delete requests in the next two videos. All right, so we need to create a route handler for slash comments slash ID. Let me tell you that dynamic route handlers work similar to dynamic page routes. Within the comments folder, we create a new folder named ID wrapped in square brackets. Inside this folder, we create a route.ts file. Within this file, we define a get handler function. Once again, we will make use of pieces extension to insert the saved snippet. From this function, we need to return a single comment whose ID matches the ID route parameter. Let's first import the comments array at the top. Next, we need to access the route parameter. The handler function receives two parameters. The first one is the request object, which we looked at in the previous video. However, we are interested in the second parameter, the context. Currently, the only value of context is params, which is an object containing the dynamic route parameters for the current route. So from context, we destructure params. Params is an object that contains the ID route parameter, which is of type string. ID corresponds to the ID folder name. Using this ID, we can now find the individual comment. So const comment is equal to comments array dot find. And as the callback function, we find the comment whose ID is equal to the integer value, so parse end of params.id. Params ID is a string value and we need to convert it to integer to compare it with the comment ID. Once we have the comment, we respond with it in JSON format. So return response.json comment. Since we are not using the request parameter, we can prefix it with an underscore. Now I will switch over to the Thunder Client tab where we were making the GET request. To the URL, I'm going to append slash one, with one being the comment ID. If I hit send, you can see the status is 200 OK and the comment with ID equal to one is returned. Changing the URL to slash two, we get back the second comment. Similarly, slash three, we get back the third comment. So based on the comment ID we pass in the URL, we get back the appropriate comment. We have only three comments to work with, but in a practical application, you're likely to have thousands of rows in your database. The logic to fetch the individual record, however, remains the same. All right, now that we have a good understanding of how to create dynamic route handlers, in the next video, let's see how to handle a patch request to update an individual comment. Please do leave a like if you're enjoying the videos and I'll see you in the next one.